Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the Mighty Thor retail version, SDCC version, Valkyrie, and Sif from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Lady Thor, as I used to call her, Mighty Thor, she's known now, looks awesome. I like this head sculpt, it's really nice. Those wings on the sides are a great touch. The gold on top is wonderful. The eyes are kind of weird though. You can't really see her eyes. The lipstick looks kind of interesting too, I guess. And the hair it looks nice as well, if a bit dirty. It is a nice head sculpt and works pretty well at least. The body is pretty cool. We have this sort of metal breastplate over here. Her arms are asymmetrical. We have a gauntlet on this one as if like an archer. It looks really nice. Neat. I like it. it. Looks pretty cool. This interesting kind of cloth going down here that's tied up. It's all paint though. Coming down to this sort of loincloth kind of piece, skirt piece over here, looking really great. It's an awesome body piece and works well for the figure. The legs are really cool as well, taking elements from the male Thor to this female Thor. I like the wings on the boots. They're really great, and the wrappings around the legs are nice. It's mostly black for the rest, but I do appreciate the difference in details. The cape is a very nice piece. It looks great and wonderful. You can use it with different figures as well. There are little pauldrons on here underneath her hair and it is kind of difficult to get it on. Taking it off, there's a nice little strap going around to the front, the buckle, but it's a lot of swirly twirly plastic, at least for the head and the body on the back, so putting on the cape is a better idea. The only accessory she comes with is Mjolnir. I do like how it looks, however, it's a blatant copy from the films, I believe. It's all right. It is smaller than Thor's previous hammer. It doesn't really fit that well in her hand. You have to kind of position it the correct way. And I wish she came with a spare head, maybe a different Mjolnir. Luckily, we'll see that soon. For articulation, the head can go left and then right and all the way around basically. Up this far, very nice and down really nice as well. It's a nice pivot in there too. Very good head articulation. Up pretty far with the arm looking really nice over here. You get a swivel over here. It also can go down and then all the way around with that. It does kind of crunch though on the side sadly. You do get a single jointed elbow. Going up this far, not really that great. A swivel and then a hinge for this. And the same articulation for this arm. A swivel and then a hinge as well. To pretty okay. You get a swivel over here and then back and then forward crunch not that much side to side. You do not get a swivel down there. You get splits going this far not that far at all and in and up pretty okay and back not that great. Double jointed pinned knee over here working out just fine I guess. It fits the contour very well and looks nice. Swivel and then no swivel down here and then down and then up. Free floating by the way for this piece over here those wings and then pivot and then chupe goes upon the feet. Not really that great of a figure. It could be better and hopefully it will see that in just a second but yeah even the cape on her as well as Mjolnir don't really put her up to snuff with the rest. The San Diego Comic-Con version of Mighty Thor is luckily a better figure. Everything about this figure is better than the previous. The head is really nicely painted. Those eyes are great and blue and wonderful. I do also like the hair. It's a nice color as well for the figure and looks excellent. The rest of the body is basically the same looking nice. We do have a darker tone for the bottom half looking much better I would think. It's a really great figure has a lot of potential. Mjolnir looks much better too. Gone is the boring silver and here to stay is the translucent power effect with that blue and silver on the head along with the ghostly effect trailing down the handle. It's excellent. The cape is brighter red as well. It's amazing what some paint can do to a lackluster figure. As far as height comparisons goes Mighty Thor stands at about five and three quarters six inches tall and the other Mighty Thor stands at about the same being the same exact body but also in this iteration different pieces. I did swap the capes, hammers, and heads between each and they both yield better figures. It's amazing what you can do with a little bit of kit bashing. Now stay tuned for some more Thor figures right after this. Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Valkyrie's face sculpt looks kind of bored. It's very boring head sculpt. The eyes are okay. The ear looks fine. The lips are overly painted, I think. The braids look really nice, though. I like how they look. And the hair, otherwise, looks good. A lot of shading on it, and it's kind of strange in the back. Yeah, I guess this isn't that great a head sculpt after all. The body looks basically like Thor's. I don't know if I like the chest armor. It's kind of weird. And yeah, the belt is just okay. And then at the bottom, it's just black legs. Incredibly boring for me. A couple straps over 
over here and a couple of bangles we have seen before. The sword is messed up. I'm sorry guys. It's just an awful sword that was fine once upon a time but has gotten really messed up. I don't know why. Yeah, Valkyrie is just not that great a figure. I'm sorry guys. It gets worse though. As far as articulation goes on Valkyrie, the head is not even on a hinge so we won't be getting that many things with it. You just get some swivel and then up and down a little bit. Tiny bit of pivot here and there. Go up this far and down and then all the way around it's very tight swivel over here single jointed elbow going up this far very hard to move joint and not really good looking as well a swivel and then a hinge that works fine and moves fine a swivel and then a hinge two hands or holding hands i guess for some reason swivel over here and then back and forward and that's kind of it for that these legs are awful they're very old styled and should be banned from everything they go out this far and in and then up weirdly enough like this you could swivel over here as well double joint knee going pretty nice it's overly articulated though and doesn't really work as well as it probably should and the joints look incredibly ugly with this figure you have to keep turning it and it doesn't want to work that well down and up and then pivot peg holes about on the feet yeah this is going directly into the sales pile not a big fan of valkyrie and i'm glad i'll be getting rid of her if anyone wants to get her at least i really love stiff's head sculpt it's really nicely done however i think i have a couple qc issues that keep me from making it one of the best ever there is a big scar going across her face over here for some reason maybe it was the packaging and this little wing wants to go out farther instead of staying in the hair looks nice too and i love that it's wonderful i just wish i had a little bit better qc for this figure the body is awesome as is the cape a little wintry feel to this i love that i like how it looks it's red and white wonderful details and stuff we have the cape also it has a really nice shading to it and is just amazing it doesn't really get around anything or mess anything up this pearlescent color is excellent for here and i just love how this looks with the skirt it is just phenomenal and good looking for this figure the legs are really cool we got these boots going all the way up to the thighs that's amazing i like the little wrapping is going around her leg as well over here looks great and the feet looks nice as well but it's a really cool look for this it's just excellent sif comes with a sword it's a nice sword it looks really good it's mostly silver with a little red handle and fits really nicely in her hand she also has a sheath built into her skirt that can hold the sword it's a really great piece and a great function for a great figure the cape is a wonderful piece the dark red along with the light blue and white are really nice for this figure and it's excellent and the putting on method is great just drape over her shoulders and that's it you're done wonderful as far as articulation goes for sif taking the cape off the head can go left and then right and then up this far and then down pretty far you do get an all the way around with this and a swivel over here as well with an up and down function going up this far and down with a swivel as well and then an in and out joint and then an up and down sword wielding joint get a swivel over here and back and forward and some pivot around you do get splits going pretty far this far going up this far and down and then back this far really nicely and down swivel up here no swivel down here down and up and pivot with two peg goes on the feet definitely an excellent looking figure with some pretty good accessories and i just love how it looks the ergonomics of sif is really nice especially with that great cape and great sword. For height comparison, Valkyrie stands at about six and three quarters inches tall, while Sif stands at about six and a half inches tall. They're both nice figures, but I much prefer Sif with the modern articulation and great color scheme and accessories. Overall, not even girl power can stop these figures from being mediocre. Mighty Thor is a good base figure that can use an update. They already gave it an update for SDCC, and I love that one, but I find it can be pushed even further. Double jointed elbows, pinless tech, and much more accessories combining these figures together into one awesome figure with all the hammers and heads we'll ever want would be a dream come true. As for which one is better, the SDCC one definitely, but I wouldn't mind swapping parts like I did before. It's pretty nice. Valkyrie is a mess and a mistake, an old body mold with old parts that does not work very well. The sword is horrible, the hair is the best part about the figure, and the face is bland, just not really that great and kind of a shame. Sif is the best figure here, she looks great, she he feels great with the articulation and the accessory is awesome in that sword as well as the storage for it. The candy red really meshes well with the white and that blue tufted cape is just excellent. If you're a fan of the Mighty Thor you probably already have the SDCC version but I believe the retail one works just as well I guess. Skip Valkyrie and go for Sif. She's an awesome figure and you won't regret it. But make no mistake that the ladies of Thor are a force to be reckoned with. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!